What's up guys, CryptoHo here. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on how you can access your Trust Wallet account inside of MetaMask and save a lot of money on transfer fees. Also, I'll be doing more tutorials on how to access MetaMask Wallet inside of Trust Wallet, how to add custom tokens, how to add Binance Smart Chain mainnet to MetaMask and much more. So make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't yet already and hit the bell so you'll be notified when those videos become available very important before we start if this is your first time having a metamask account or you don't have no wallet or no account in metamask then you can go ahead and skip to step number three but if you do have wallets or accounts in metamask it's very very important that you follow step number one otherwise you run the risk of losing access to those wallets and accounts meaning you can lose your investment with all that said, let's go straight to step number one. The first thing we need to do is to copy the seed phrases or also known as the secret recovery phrases and also the private keys from each wallet. And we can access that by simply pressing the three lines in the upper left corner. Then we choose the wallet of which we want to copy the seed phrases and private keys. And just keep in mind, you will have to repeat this for each wallet. Then we go down to where it says settings. Then we go to security and privacy. And now we choose the button where it says reveal secret recovery phrase. Enter your password. Follow the prompts. And simply copy your secret recovery phrase. You guys can copy it to your clipboard and you guys can save it like in notes or write in a piece of paper. I, you know, don't suggest that you guys save it or like screenshot it and save it on your phone. If possible, try to save all this information offline. You also have an option for a QR code, but in my opinion, I think it's better just to have the actual phrases. Um, it's more flexible. Once you've done that, you just click done. And now we need to get the private keys. So we have to scroll down and we click where it says show private keys. Enter your password again. And just hold the blue button. And there you go, just copy it. And the same thing with the seed phrases or the secret recovery phrase, make sure you guys save it in a safe spot, in a piece of paper. Make sure you guys save it somewhere offline. Then press done. And you can simply just go back to your home screen. And if you have more wallets, like I mentioned earlier, you would have to repeat the same process to your other wallets. And maybe right now you're wondering, why do I need to copy the seed phrases and private keys when all I want to do is just import my trust wallet inside of MetaMask. And the reason is because once you're already logged in into your MetaMask, the only way you can import a wallet is when you click here, when you choose your wallet, and then you have options to either create a new account and import an account. When you press on that, it only gives you the option to paste your private key string. Currently, there's no option to choose to add a seed phrase. Therefore, we're gonna have to take like extra steps. The only time MetaMask allows you to import seed phrases or secret recovery phrase is only when you first download the app or when you reset the entire app. So once we have already completed this to all the wallets inside of MetaMask, now we can go to step number two, which is to reset MetaMask. And the way how we do this is by going back to the upper left corner. Then we press on settings. Then we go to security and privacy. Then we scroll down to where it says delete wallet. Once we're there, we press on it and a warning comes up just to make sure that you understand what you're doing, which is why it's important to copy all the C phrases and private keys. We press I understand and continue and type delete, press delete my wallet and it's done. And like I mentioned earlier, right here, we actually see where it says import using secret recovery phrase. We didn't see that before while we were logged on into MetaMask. This only shows up when you first download the app or when you have to reset or delete all your wallets inside of MetaMask. And as a side note, when you delete your wallet, it's not really removed or erased completely. It's still written in the blockchain. The only thing it does is just removes it from the app, but the wallet is still exists. Now let's go to step number three, which is to go to the Trust Wallet app and copy the secret recovery phrase. And so once we're there, we're gonna go to the lower right corner and choose settings. Then we're going to press wallets. And if you have multiple wallets, choose the wallet of which you want to copy or get the seed phrases. And you do that by pressing the little I in the circle. Then choose show secret phrase. 
Once you've done that, you're going to check the three circles. They just want to make sure that you understand what you're doing and not to share this so no one you know, can hack your account. Press continue and there you go. And the same thing with MetaMask, make sure you guys copy this. I don't suggest that you guys screenshot it, but make sure you guys write, write it down in a piece of paper or you guys copy paste it somewhere safe. And if possible, save it offline. Once we have that, we're going to go back to MetaMask and we're going to choose import using secret recovery phrase. So go ahead and paste your secret recovery phrase, create a new password and click import. Congrats, it's done. The only issue that I have with this with MetaMask is that it only allows you to import just one account using the, the seed phrases or the secret recovery phrase. And this option only shows up in the beginning of the app, like when you first download it or if you re erase the whole thing. And after you've done that, you can't repeat the process again. And unless you guys know another workaround, feel free to share that in the comments down below. And just a quick note, after you've done this and if your tokens are not showing up, then that means that you need to import those tokens. In some cases, like we see here, if I press where it says one new token found in this account, it'll show me here Kishu Inu and I can just simply press the import button and it's done. But in other cases, you would have to manually import those tokens. I'll be making a separate tutorial on how you can add that. I'm just not gonna do it here, so it won't extend too much. Now let's go to step number four and import the previous MetaMask accounts into MetaMask. And we do this by pressing the three lines on the upper left corner. Then we press on where it says account one. It may have a different name, which is the name of the wallet or account. So you will press that and you will choose the option on the bottom where it says import an account. And here you simply just paste your private key and press import and it's done. And step five is optional, but I'm gonna show you how you can simply rename your accounts. All you have to do is just long hold on the name and you guys can rename this to whatever you want. One thing to keep in mind is that all the changes you have done on your MetaMask app on your phone, you're not going to see those changes on your Chrome extension. So you will need to apply the same changes into your Chrome extensions, which I will also do a video tutorial showing you how to do that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you find this video to be helpful and informative, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't yet already, and hit the bell so you never miss another video. Check out my other videos here, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.